G'day guys, welcome to Langrisa SEA, where the excitement never ends. Or so you thought. Alright, so yep, on today's challenge will be versus thing, the Empire group and well apparently it's a stage I hate because oh my god, enemy will be immune to all negative buff effect. And okay, so today um, we're gonna try out something kinky groups of characters. We are not really using attackers with bonus attack, and yep, it's gonna be some weird and kinky characters, but definitely not that kinky. Don't look for words like kinky operators, please. I don't want to get in trouble, but you'll see what I mean when I say kinky. Because today we will be using the man with boobs. And yeah, we're going to be using Zareda. Alright, so yep, our VIP today will be the man with boobs. Omega, Kiaris, Leona, and yep, Sophia is a very weird group today. And just for your information, my Omega will be five, is a five, five star character only. So, and apparently, um, that will be a highlight because only Omega will be attempt to kill off the enemy, uh, defeat the enemy. However, um, just a quick note, um, I've discovered another way to defeat this group that is actually by using Yuria and by teleporting her into the space above Vargas and using her divine punishment skills and it will kind of um, trap all enemies within the circle except maybe for Leon so yep that's one way but apparently um I can only do a video to record for one team so yep so if you have um you really can try it out or if not you can try this kinky play from uh, team Omega and yep so I'm gonna try this challenge by using Omega apparently um it's a five star Omega only and my Dark Elf units are not fully trained, they are just like level 6 or 7. And not to mention my Zerida is only 4 stars and so yep, Zerida is actually just um, kind of useless, you understand, you will find out soon. <laughs> Alright, so first off, after buffing Omega, we will attempt to kill, we'll attempt to defeat Egbert. Yep, we Yep, no one is hurt in this production of a video. They are just, they just merely fainted, like Pokemon. Okay, so um, Liana will act again. This time around, we will try to defeat Leon. And apparently, um, due to my Omega is not being that strong, um, he will need the help of Flexion Bar. So okay, once you have buff Omega, then okay. You're able to defeat Leon and next we'll need to move back. Yep. It to um just bear with me, it's gonna be a bit of draggy games. But, um like I said due to the fact that my characters rank are very low, so um if you are kind of a free player of a budget player and you apparently have at least a five star omega and with other characters you can basically you can just act, you can win this whole game with just an omega alone okay so on turn two so at the end of the turn sophia will rewind their time so again um Tiaris will rebuff omega and this time we will attempt to defeat imelda yep such a beauty and apparently um you see we, we even with the buff um 5 star Omega almost get defeated so yep and then we got to we're not gonna AA again because apparently um, due to the talents and if I'm not wrong there is hegemony with Brunhardt so um, you need two attacks from Omega to defeat Eggbird so it's not a good idea to just AA this turn to attempt to defeat Bernhardt. So, yep. Terry still have Miracle. So, we're gonna try our best to increase as much damage as we can as possible. So, okay. So, here we go. Omega's Omega Punch. 
Oh, okay. Um, okay. Sorry, my bad. Apparently, um, with with buff, um, I'm able to defeat Bernhard. So, okay, that's good. So, okay, you're gonna be placing Omega um, near Vargas, but actually, that's a wrong play. Okay, you can actually AA again, but I actually would suggest um, the correct way will be to make Omega to send behind Vargas. For some reason, um, it might be a programming issues, a, the intelligence of AI or um, the hatred for Hila, I guess. Apparently, Vargas will attempt to chase after Hila or anyone who is as close to him as possible, uh, even despite if um, he know that Omega is behind him. Uh, which I'm going to show you later. So apparently, um, my Liana is only four star, but I have actually maxed out the star. Um, I actually maxed out the soldier Miko. So yeah, as you can see, the shrine maiden. So um, that's why Liana is able to survive the attack. So okay, with a bit of boosting for. Um, Sophia, just to make sure um, they will just stay alive in, in the event. In the event, if you know there's critical coming from the enemy, so okay. Um, apparently, Vargas is the strongest thing in this whole game right now. <laughs> I mean, for this challenge, apparently um, we have problem dealing damage, and yep, um, despite dealing fixed damage, the game is going very slow. So yep. I'm gonna make Omega to walk behind instead, and while Con Sophia will be continuing trying to boost um, Liana so she can help survive the hits. Yup, still not learning my lesson at this point. So yup, this is why you can see it's gonna be a bit draggy here. <coughs> and apparently, I thought by giving some attack boost to Omega, um, I'll get to finish him off faster but um nope that's not the case and not to mention that i actually gave the accessory item lone star to omega so it's a very very bad move um to actually just stay beside my unit because i'm losing an extra 10 percent of damage so i'm kind of you know like we said time wasting here but oh well Okay, so we can survive well. So okay, still not giving up, and Omega is trying to <laughs> trying my best to finish him off as fast as possible. But nope. So okay, I think I finally gave up, and I'm gonna move around. Yep. Ah, uh, jeez, no breeze. If if only there's breeze, I can move much faster. But oh well. So um, basically. Characters like Zareda and Sophia. Zareda is only um, four star, and her equipment is kind of in a mess. And for Sophia, she's a six star character, but I did not manage to give her very good items because, um, well, I have better options and characters that I need to consider for. So, yep, apparently, um, Omega item is a bit of mesh up with Zerida's item and apparently here I'm trying to test out which uh, initially I thought um, Vargas might attack Omega but well for some reason um, they just like to finish off healers <laughs> so that's a good way to kite the enemy and especially if your Liana is 5 to 6 stars hmm. So yup, I'm gonna a a Zarida so we can actually um, get her to use faction buff again. So yup, Mary kill and faction buff. So as you can see, um, if you have a four star Omega with a max train dark elf unit i think you can still use omega in this stage and not to mention you must give him um strong attack items um not considering uliabo because um 
unless your level 6 Omega Uliabo will definitely decrease your damage by a lot and I definitely don't suggest that. Okay, so I'm going to try attacking Vargas from here and yep. Oh, uh, apparently, yep, um, the lone, lone Star apparently works, yep, when I'm actually having no allies beside or near me. Uh, and for at least two to three, three squares or tiles, so yep. Final attack, and yep, I'm not going to use critical because of the blessing attack, so should I be able to finish? Yep, I'm able to, and yep. You have managed to defeat SSS5 and you have win the game, congratulations. And next I'll be showing you so I can let you see um, the equipment I'm using for the characters and also not to mention to show that the rank of the character that I'm actually using so you can get a better idea on how to win this challenge if you happen to have or want to use Omega. It's kind of a, a bit of cheating because at Omega will be able to attack the hero's HP directly. But then again, um, you need to be a very strong character. So first off, Thierry's, um healer. So you need very... Basically everything's about healing items. So yep, the man with boobs. So I'm taking Extreme Bow from Zareda. Yep, this is the Extreme Bow. Next will be Last Right again from... Apparently, I um, took it from Matthew. Yep, from my Matthew. The last ride and this King's Crown, as you can see, um, don't really bother to need to max or level up the items unless you want more defense and stuff. And yep, I gave him Lone Star because I don't have any better items. So yep, when there is no two tiles or squares around you with allies, you will increase your damage by yep, around 10%. So that's good and yep with extreme bow have an extra 10% of damage and that's why um, if you're just only 4 to 5 stars it's a very bad idea to rely on Ulea bow and okay for Liana as you can see it's only a 4 stars and yep my Miko is max level so have a damage reduction of 75% and hope I'm not speaking too loud. Um, if I am, apologies. Then next off, yep, sorry, the, the character that I actually don't really like and kind of hate. So sorry for any Zerida fan. Not a gacha, gacha, uchi, uchi, kuchi, kuchi fan, yep. And yeah, apparently um, I'm switching Omega's item to her and giving her Twilight Armor and Eye of Jagamon or Jomon, yep, the Norse Snake. And a boots, so yep, um, so kind of mash up for her items. Well, basically, the whole game the idea of using her is you know, faction buff. And yep, for Sophia, whoa, apparently, I <laughs> oh my god, sorry, Sophia, apparently, I I didn't give her a full set of items, but okay, as you can see, the main idea of using her is to use rewind and followed by boosting defense for allies so yep to make sure they stay alive okay for born yep so Thierry's the little lawyer here max the bond yep just to be clear I did not confess to her she confessed to me so uh, please do not call FBI and for my Liana um, okay the hard bond is stop and level 4 and basically that's enough for Defend boosting or damage reduction and yep for Omega I managed to increase everything except for defense so if you manage to up every stairs he have a greater chance of survivals against enemy attack and oh for Zerida oh okay free stones and yep I didn't really you know put in effort to up her because well she gave me bad dreams, you know. Always got bullied by Zareda in the arena. <laughs> not a fan, not a fan. Alright, oh dear Sophia, man. And yep, apparently only <laughs> max two and a half 
of all the six bonds. So okay, if you ban, you're gonna really need to up her in future. So yep, that's it, guys. So uh, again, like I said, um, aside from using Omega, you can if you have uh, stronger stats, 